<laughs> Halo the Master Chief Collection has topped the Steam sales charts. So um, the collection released today on December 3rd on PC on Steam, which is super exciting. We've been waiting for this for a long time. I've been waiting for this for a super long time. Uh, it's currently the number one selling game on Steam with the standalone title Halo Reach sitting in third. Super, super cool. Um, 45 minutes into the game going live, there were 60,000 concurrent players. And then I saw tweets like, you know, into the night right before we were doing the show. Uh, it is December 3rd right now as we as we speak for those listening. Um, those concurrent numbers were like up over 100,000 players. Um, I, you know that I love this. Like I'm a huge fan of Bungie's iterations of the Halo franchise. Uh, some of my favorite memories. And uh, I think this is a really positive start for them on Steam. And I think that we're going to con- continue to see these games have success as they're released one by one. Um, it seems like the community like really loves this. I'm excited for it. I gotta get it. Yeah, I played I gotta, multiplayer oh, yeah. a little bit before we got on the show. The servers How is went it? down like after two games, so Did you play didn't use get controller? Really far. No, I used my keyboard, my controller was dead. Mm. But I picked up the controller. <laughs> went straight for we it. Can we play co op like the original games, like all of them? Well, Reach is the only one out right now. Yeah, yeah, Reach is the only one out right They're now. I mean, out. well, I, I figured to be able to well just Wait. from what you guys were saying, but like Yeah. I think that Reach and like Halo Three are the only ones that are four person co op for camp. Oh, those are campaign. four person. Co-op? I thought they were yeah. two person co op. I believe three, because in Halo Three you played as the Arbiter and Chief, like in two. Yep. And then you played as two like elite guards, like the other players did in Halo Three. I've never played more than two. Are you sure? You can do that. Pretty. Po- I'm all. Like, that's how it was on console. Whether it's the same thing on here, that, I don't know. But I just remember specifically playing two people on Reach. Me yeah. too. Because you were playing, Matt. You were playing with somebody, and then I jumped in and like finished the game with you. Yeah, I actually no remember idea what that. was going on. I yeah, I, I do remember that day. <laughs> <was like>, um, <laughs> yeah, if you're if you're listening, I know. Um, well, now I don't know if there are four players. We might have more people involved, but Josh and I are going to be starting the Halo Reach campaign. Uh, on legendary we're gonna have each episode is going to be um one of the campaign missions i think we'll cut them down into like five or ten minutes but it's not gonna have like two hours of us dying well me dying apparently josh is the best of the game and he doesn't plan to die the whole way is that right josh yes zero deaths <laughs> zero we've been doing this since we were like nine years old man uh... it's gonna be easy well it was hard then halo 3 has four player go up Halo 3, 4, and Reach will support four-player co-op. Holy and shit. ODST, apparently. There's only one Noble Six, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pumped. I mean, I, I want to play the campaign. Like I said, I just watched the whole fucking YouTube movie of the Halo Reach cutscenes. It's really good. I mean, it still holds up. Halo Reach? Oh, yeah. Okay. Dude, the Bungie storytelling with the Halo games, like, Reach, for instance, like, it's not overdone like the characters aren't like edgy fucking cutouts of like some idiot character that they made up like just for the sake of it like they're very believable like they say funny things like they're serious when they need to be they're sad when they need to be like it's a very good story you know nowadays you just get like fucking yeah crap. like in halo one through three there was like all all these spartans or like all, there was like one left and then in Halo 5, all of a sudden, there's, like, teams of them, like, everywhere. Like, they're just all over the place. This guy's mm-hmm. like, I'm going to kill the the first one ever. Yeah. Oh, God. I never played 5. <laughs> I, I never got the chance. It's like, a really shame because, it like, you, Josh. the writer that did Halo 1 through 3 and Reach was doing the Destiny storyline and got booted, like, or he quit. Like, they just weren't having it. So, like, wow. then I guess that's why Destiny's story was fleshed out, like, mostly through what's called the Grimoire in the game. And No good. It's like, man, where'd that guy go? Can some studio just hire him, please? Because that guy writes like a motherfucker, Do you know what his man. name is? I can't remember. Well, I so, think that they... Yeah. Obviously, like Martin O'Donnell wasn't used he, well, for he the was, soundtrack. Destiny, he was. 
well in destiny that's what i mean in destiny he was but obviously like he didn't go with the halo franchise like when they sold the ip mm. he obviously stayed with bungie and the music is such a big part of the game mm-hmm. that original halo soundtrack man holy shit oh my god that first level and, and then the intro to the second one i mean yeah th- those are with like the atmosphere and the music and everything that built i mean the graphics were good for the time. They didn't have to be like absolutely amazing. You go back and play now, you probably still get you know a similar experience to something you get with an you know amazing 4K and shit. It's just that music and like the story, like the world building, even up to that point, how like how much action. It was just know. a they, good they, ass sci-fi yeah. game, man. It was they just told like, a good lot. Ass... Yeah. It had like a ton of religious themes in it too. Like mm. there was just a lot going on. It was a lot deeper than just like. Oh, better kill the alien race. His right. name was Joseph like, Staten. But, Joseph but like Staten. you, you said, but like if you didn't want that, you would just go through and kill everybody. It didn't like beat you over the fucking head with it the entire no. game. Like, oh, it's the Covenant and they're really bad, and this is why. Oh yeah, none of it. No, they didn't do that. It, like games today, I feel like that's all I hear about is how like, you you know, they got to reiterate like how bad the baddies are all the time because we we can't figure that out through what they're doing or you know. Mm-hmm. How, how you're interacting with them it's kind of the how outer game. it's kind of how the outer worlds was really not to keep keep beating that game to death i'm sure that there's a lot of people that like it i'm sorry mm-hmm. that i keep trash talking it but yeah it like the story's the focus obviously but it's just like they just beat you over the fucking head not to steal dave's line but they really do it's over and over and over like oh yeah like corporations and capitalism like no 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 it's like okay like we fucking get it like you just told us in the first like cutscene, we know. You don't have to keep telling us. Is that why everybody keeps saying that now? Like the like all, all the YouTube comments and Reddit comments I always see, it's like what's this say about society? Like, well, this is capitalism. Whoa, this is capital. This is, you know, I think that's like, just re- I think that's just Reddit. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's like all any and then and then people are finally like calling them out on it now. They're like, mm. like, yes, yeah, so like what does this say? Like, you're going to finish that thought, or are you just going to... Yeah. I don't think they come right out and they say, like, capitalism. Oh. It's just, like, it's just, like, very in your face, though. You know what they're talking about, like, right from the get-go. I was just wondering if it was a correlation. Yeah. That, and that's why it was so popular, because people love that shit. Yeah. They do love that shit. 